Finally, Xiaomi has released the much-awaited MIUI 9 update for their devices and this new update has bring lots of new features and changes to the table. These are the devices that will officially get this update but as of now, MIUI 9 is only available for Redmi Note 4 of 4X and Mi 6 in the form of developer beta ROM. More devices will be added soon in the coming weeks. So if you want to try out the new MIUI ROM on your supported devices then do watch the video till the end and this method will work on all the Xiaomi devices but in this video I am installing MIUI 9 on Redmi Note 4X. So now with that being said, let's start. The prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now, if you guys don't have an unlocked bootloader or pre-installed TWRP recovery, then don't worry, I will leave the link of both the videos in the description down below. So pause this video and first unlock the bootloader and install the TWRP recovery. Once that is done, go back to this page and download the MIUI 9 for Redmi Note 4 or 4X and put it in the internal memory of your device. Now boot your device into TWRP recovery mode and for that first switch off your device. Now press and hold volume up plus power key until you see this me logo and this will basically boot your device into TWRP recovery. So after successfully booting into TWRP recovery, the first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM because in case you don't like the ROM or you want to go back to your previous ROM then just go to restore section and from there you can restore the previous ROM. It's as simple as that. So after backup is done, go back and click on wipe, then advanced wipe. From here select Delvix, system, data and cache and swipe this blue button to right. This will basically wipe the system partition and make your device ready for ROM installation. Once that is done, go back and click on install and navigate the ROM zip file which we downloaded earlier and select it. Now again swipe this blue button to right in order to flash the ROM zip file. The installation will take anywhere between 3 to 5 minutes so just relax. Once the installation is done, a pop-up will appear which says no OS is installed. Just overlook that and swipe this to reboot your device. Now again the first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes which is quite normal. So wait till the boot is finished. Now as you can see, we have successfully installed the MIUI 9 ROM on our Redmi Note 4 or 4X. So just set up your device and enjoy the new MIUI 9 which brings lots of new features and changes to the table. My first impression of MIUI 9 was like, wow, this time Xiaomi has done lots of improvements over the UI. As I mentioned earlier that, this ROM is a beta ROM but still the ROM feels very light and quick and I didn't face any lag or app crashes in my 24 hours of usage. On Redmi Note 4 or 4X, MIUI 9 is running on the latest version of Android that is no good and we were really waiting for this update since a while. Additionally, you will get lots of changes like now in the setting menu, there is a new option called My Devices that will provide you the hardware and software details and I think it looks really cool. Rather than that, now you also get the split screen feature which will let you open two apps at the same time. Now this is a Chinese ROM so you will not get the Play Store and Google services pre-installed but there is a very simple method to do that. First open the Mi App Store and search for Google. Now scroll at the bottom and click on this blue icon and install this app. Once the installation is done, open the app and click on this blue circle and it will start installing all the required Google apps and framework. After that is done, you will find the Google Play Store on the home screen. Now, I'll be making lots of MIUI 9 videos in this week regarding its features, performance and also a full review of this ROM. So if you guys are new to this channel, then do subscribe for more future videos like this. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.